When I was about 19 years old, I rented a small one-bedroom duplex. The other part of the duplex was a two-bedroom unit that the landlord daughter lived in. The landlord's house was on the same property and there was a shared driveway that split and went to each place. This will come up later. My rent was due on the 10th of each month. The landlord had the utilities all on one and charged me in the middle of the month according to usage. One month I walked up to her house to pay the rent. I always paid it on the first Wednesday of the month. She didn't answer the door. I tried again later in the day and still no answer. I tried again the next day. Still no answer and I knew she was home. This time I had the check in an envelope and left it in the door slot. This was on the 6th of the month. I had a feeling something was up. The landlord was avoiding me. The next day I came home from work and there was a 24 house notice to vacate for non-pay. I tried contacting the landlord, she wouldn't respond. This was on the 8th of the month. The next day, the landlord shut off my electricity and gas heat. It happened to snow that day. I went down to the legal aid office, and although they couldn't go to court with you, they could give advice and the attorney called my landlord to see if they could help resolve whatever was going on. The attorney advised who he was and where was from. The landlord barely let him get this out. She started screaming at him so loud I could hear her. She said no FGov employee or anyone was going to tell her how to run her properties and hung up. The attorney looked at me and said, we're going to fry her a asterisk asterisk. This where the driveway comes into play. It is a single dirt road which splits and goes to my place or farther to her house. By the time I got home and was pulling in my driveway, there was sheriff's car in front of her house. Apparently, the legal aid attorney had filed a restraining order against my landlord due to her shutting off my gas heat, which was a threat against me. The landlord called legal aid and she was told she needed to get an attorney since she wasn't willing to work with a govd. Employee. After all was said and done, I got 45 days to move, three months rent, utilities and deposits paid plus $5,000. That was a lot of money back then, probably 10 times of what it would be today. And the reason for all of this, her other daughter was moving from Hawaii and she wanted the unit for her. Instead of just giving me a 30-day no-cause notice, she did it her way and it cost her a lot of money. I never did talk to her again. But I do know she couldn't use her driveway until I moved.